Godzilla, da da da, Godzilla, da da da, Godzilla, da da da, and Godzuki. Stick around. Lovely people, it's me, Random Ross. Yeah, and welcome to a random review from me. So, with the release of Godzilla, got King of Monsters uh, out in cinemas, I thought before I see that, I'll revisit two installments that are before it in this rebooted Monster Universe franchise. So, um, this one I'm reviewing Godzilla, the 2014 film which is a reboot of the Kaiju uh, movies and is from uh, the 35th film in the uh, Godzilla franchise, so bloody hell a lot. Um, and this is the first time Godzilla has been brought into the 21st century. So uh, this first one, well, it's not the first one, but it's the first like modern reboot. Um, Let's uh, get this up. Uh, hold on. Uh, I should have got this bloody ready. Um, ah, here we go. Um, yeah, uh, Godzilla. 2014, um, written by Max Bronstein, uh, directed by Ga Gareth Edwards, starring um, Aaron Taylor Johnson, Ken Watt, and Bull or whatever, Elizabeth Olsen, that's right, Quicksilver and Scarlet Witch, um, Juliet uh, Binock or whatever. Sally Hawkins, David Strength, or whatever, and Brian Cranston. So this is a giant monster film where, um, where at the beginning this whole nuclear disaster happens in Japan, where there's an American guy working there, played by Brian Cranston. Um, they evacuate the whole area come back many years later to discover that it's not radioactive like Chernobyl and that the radiation has all been channeled up into this egg which unleashes this winged monster. Not only that but another monster like that comes out and is bigger and it turns out that they're male and female and they want to mate and make babies. Not only that but they discover that there is another monster that's gonna be on our side and it's Godzilla. So Godzilla the Big Giant Lizard by day, the Brutally Honest Sex Offender by night. Um, so, in this, um, you know, they show some footage of the, you know, the bomb, the nuclear bomb tests that they did in the Pacific, saying they weren't tests, they were trying to kill the creature Godzilla, but discover that he feeds off radiation and gets bigger and stronger. And Godzilla, he then fights these two giant monsters to the death in San Francisco, and at the end of it, people are grateful to the giant lizard and he goes back into the sea to live and fight another day. So let's get on to my likes and dislikes about this one. First of all, the likes. I like that this was better than the 1998 film. Now, the 1998 film, I'll be honest, I lost my virginity to that film. Yeah, the first time ever I went to the cinema was to see the 1998 film. For my eight-year-old self, that was terrifying and scary, not eight to seven, and, but looking at it now, I think, yeah, this is a bit cheesy, bit, yeah, yeah, but I liked it as a kid, uh, as a grown up now, I think, yeah, it's, it, it, <laughs> let, let's forget about that one, we're talking about 2014, um, 
So first of all, I like the story. I like the monsters. I like the disasters. I like the actors. I liked pretty much everything in this. I like the effects. I like Godzilla. Godzilla was fantastic. A big giant lizard. And he was badass and fat. But maybe that's not fat. It's all muscle and armor. And I loved it. I loved this film. And I watched it multiple times. And I recently revisited it before Godzilla King of Monsters um, so I enjoyed the film a lot um, so yeah what can I say it's a it's a it's one of the best modern takes I would say I haven't seen many of the original films in fact I haven't seen any of the original Japanese films because you know I mean I like Japanese horror but I've just never had the interest in watching Godzilla the original but, um, yeah, I just, I just didn't. Um, okay, so, uh, my dislikes. I didn't like how this film was mismarketed. You see, Brian Cranston was featured heavily in the trailer, but he was a, he, he died after the first act of the film. I was like, what, he's dead already? He's not the main character. Um, I also didn't like the slow build to the reveal of Godzilla. It's like... I think we got our first big look at the giant lizard in the beginning part of the second act. So it felt like a too slow a start for me. But once Godzilla came out of the ocean and he was fighting the monsters, it was great. But during the second act, he was also swimming in the Pacific Ocean as well on his way to San Francisco to fight these giant monsters that were causing chaos around the world and wanted to reproduce. But the massive fight scene in the finale is worth the wait, and I enjoyed the hell out of that. Um, so, yeah, it has its ups and downs, you know, bit of the slow builds and that, but other than that, I found it a fairly enjoyable film. Um, and like I said, I just rewatched this so I can refresh my memory before going to see Godzilla King of Monsters. So, the cinematography I thought was great. Our actors in this, Aaron Taylor Johnson, Elizabeth Olsen, uh, the Japanese actor guy, whatever his name is, and Sally Hawkins, they did great performances too. The effects were good. Uh, so yeah, uh, my ratings. I think I'm going to give Godzilla 2014, do you know what, I'll give this three. Three out of five for Godzilla 2014. So that has been my random review on the first Godzilla reboot of this century. So let me know what you think to it down in the comments below if you've seen this. If you like this video, be sure to give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to share with your friends. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and to hit that notification bell. All of my social media links are all down below too, along with links to my other channels. i got Random Horror. i got uh, Davros the Whovian if you love Doctor Who content and that, um, which will also be linked at the end of this video. So yeah, that's it for this one. So until next time, I bid you all a... Bye, friends. Goodbye.